All right, I'm working on the other bracelet, and I didn't want to go through all the same steps that we already went through with the first bracelet. So I had already did the girth hitch, went around the adjustable part of the shackle, uh, around the adjustable part of the fastener, and uh, the first stitch in the in the bracelet. So we're gonna get started, and I'm gonna add the gray stripe. Forgot I gotta get my middle measurement. that add in my stripe it's a, you ironic that you know you can learn a skill the first time I made a bracelet like I said it took me a long time and I made several of them and then when I try to add a stripe Man, it was like I started all over again. You know, just it incorporated a, you know, another piece in the puzzle and the skill that you had to learn and perfect. And it took me a while to get that started. And I've made, I wouldn't be surprised, 750 bracelets in the last year and a half. We've uh, probably sold 600 or so maybe more than that maybe 800 or so 900 so you know I've been making quite a few of them we've done a lot of you know trade shows we've had a lot of success at different motorcycle shows uh, the people really seem to like them there you can make them to color to match your motorcycle and I even found that some people they might not want a particular bracelet on their arm, but they'll put it right on their motorcycle vest and you know attach it around the you know upper lapel area on their vest. So I've had uh, you know been well received by a lot of people in the motorcycle and biker community that uh, we've done shows at. Last year we did uh, maybe 10 shows all together, most of them right around Christmas time. We were killing ourselves for about six weeks. We did, in six weeks we did seven shows. And that was killer, trying to do that with a family, taking everybody, doing a show for 8, 10, 12 hours a day sometimes, and having... Uh, you know, food and all the logistics involved with a family of five being there. So just like the other bracelet, now is about the time to incorporate the logo, the charm for the logo. So we'll do that part. Once you do the first stitch around the logo, it kind of locks it in, and it won't move anymore. I don't know how, in terms of uh, strength, this type of knot is, a cobra knot, which I think is also called the Solomon Bar. If my memory serves me. But uh, the common commonly known name is Cobra Stitch and initially I started doing the bracelets because I wanted you know I've always liked bracelets and wearing bracelets but you know I can't wear gold all the time I didn't want to wear it to work and worry about losing it or it being damaged or something like that and once I found these I like how they were kind of rugged looking you know they had a utilitarian step to them piece to them and I, I kind of like that about them and you know it's a uh, kind of a piece of jewelry a guy can wear and still look like a guy and I like that part of it so Amanda if you happen to be watching I'm making the 
bracelets for your husband and you and I have exchanged probably a dozen emails getting together the details so we can uh, I could send you your invoice for your custom order and I was pleasantly uh, pleased to see that you went on and confirmed your order right away I got the, the sizes and got started and I'm uh, going to send these off I'm going to also post these on Facebook so people can see some of our handiwork so I think it's important to you know show what we can do in terms of marketing our business but also showing the quality one thing uh, my son, we'll call him the Buster ZX as he likes to go by he came up with a quality control test that I think is excellent to be able to tell if a bracelet is that we make is a decent quality and what he suggested I won't do it, well I could do it with this but it's got heavy parts on it but even I'll show you the difference like on this one even though it's it's been bent maybe this ain't the best one but once you first make them if you hold them out straight if it's a good tight weave that you did it won't wrap all the way around like this it'll for the most part be out straight and the one we have just made would be out straight like this one even with this heavy piece, this heavy piece, is still leaning out straight. And I thought that was a good quality control measure to do our best to make our bracelets uh, not only high quality, but consistent high quality across the board with each one of them. Buster, you can pause it for a moment. 